Arsenal's Champions League dream crushed by unlikely Bayern Munich hero, 5 talking points. Bayern Munich 1-0 Arsenal, 3-2 aggregate Joshua Kimmich's second half goal made the difference at the Allianz Arena to send Bayern Munich through to the Champions League semi-finals. Arsenal's Champions League journey ended at the Allianz Arena, with Joshua Kimmy heading Bayern Munich into the semi-finals. A 2-2 draw in the first leg left the tie delicately poised ahead of the game at the Allianz Arena. Arsenal felt they should have had an opportunity to take a lead with them to Bavaria, only for a late penalty appeal to be waved away, while Bayern weren't happy about one referee and call themselves. After a goalless first half, Bayern were desperately close to going ahead barely a minute after the restart when Leon Gortsecker and Rafael Guerrero hit the post in quick succession. They got their goal shortly after the hour mark, though, with Kimmy flying into the box and powering a header beyond David Raya. There were chances for their hosts to add to their lead, with Leroy Sana squandering an opportunity moments after the opener. Arsenal boss Mikel Orteta made changes in search of the equaliser which would have taken the game to extra time, but it wasn't to be. Harry Kane, who scored from the penalty spot in the first leg, sent the first chance of the game wide of David Raya's goal. It took 20 minutes for the visitors to get close to threatening Manuel Neuer, with Gabriel Martinelli twisting through a couple of challenges but failing to get a shot away. Arsenal's backline needed to be at its best, with a desperate Ben White block stopping Nasser Masrui finishing off a quick break and David Raya saving well from Jamal Musiala's speculative effort. At the other end, Neuer struggled to deal with a Martin Odegaard effort from the edge of the box. Bayern turned the screw early in the second half, coming inches from an opener, while Arsenal got a let-off when Gabriel almost scored an own goal after a breakdown in communication with David Raya. The visitors could only survive so many let-offs, though, and Kimmy made the breakthrough after escaping his marker and giving Raya no chance. And so it's Bayern who move into the semis, with Arsenal left to focus on their Premier League title challenge. Here are Mirror Football's talking points from a tough night for the Gunners. 1. Martinelli's night to forget. What did you make of Arsenal's performance? Have your say in the comments section. In a first half of few clear chances, Arsenal missed the best of the bunch. Gabriel Martinelli was given the nod ahead of first-leg scorer Leandro Trossard, and the Brazilian hit a snapshot straight down the throat of Neuer when slightly better aim would surely have sent the ball into the back of the net. Martinelli hadn't scored in more than a month, last netting in the win at Sheffield United before the international break. In practice that's only meant five matches, for as a sub, but that's still quite a long time for someone who really got into his scoring groove last season. Not only that, but the Brazilians' defensive laps allowed Bayern to get their noses in front. It appeared to be Arsenal's number 11 who failed to track Kimmich's run, and he was withdrawn for Leandro Trossard before having time to make amends. 2. Tomiyasu Tweak works up to a point. After starting Jakub Kiwia at left-back in the first leg, Mikel Orteta opted to give Takahiro Tomiyasu the nod in Germany. It was the Japan international's first start since December, but question marks over recent performances from Kiwia and Oleksandr Zinchenko prompted the Arsenal manager to shuffle the pack. Leroy Sane impressed for Bayern at the Emirates Stadium and there was perhaps a hope that Tomiyasu could keep the German winger quiet. He was caught out a little after the quarter-hour mark, though a covering teammate was able to deal with the threat after Sane got in behind and drove towards the byline. It was a change made not just for this game, but perhaps with the rest of the season in mind. Tomiyasu arguable showed he has enough to be trusted in the league as well, but the next team sheet will show whether or not Orteta agrees. 3. Kane marshalled well but to no avail. Harry Kane went into this game week as the Champions League's leading scorer thanks to his penalty at the Emirates Stadium, but had lost that honour before kickoff thanks to Kylian Mbappé's double for Paris Saint-Germain in Barcelona. The England striker enjoyed an impressive record against Arsenal while on Tottenham's books, but wasn't able to score from open play in North London. After a couple of early chances, he was mostly kept quiet by William Saliba and Gabriel in the first half at the Allianz Arena. Bayern were without the suspended Alfonso Davies and the injured Serge Nabry, reducing their options out wide, but Kane has been able to score goals with any kind of supporting cast. This time, though, he didn't need to. 4. Tuchel's Cup pedigree shows. 
Part of the logic behind Thomas Tuchel's appointment at Bayern was his Champions League pedigree. The manager won the competition with Chelsea in 2021, having led Paris Saint-Germain to the final 12 months earlier. Even his near misses have been dramatic. Chelsea almost came back from a 3-1 home defeat against Real Madrid in 2022, despite the Blues losing two of their three league games around the doubleheader. Mikel Orteta, in contrast, was leading Arsenal in the Champions League for the first time. Sometimes experience tells in this competition, and there's every chance the London side will come back stronger next year. 5. Arsenal's wait goes on. It was more than a decade since Arsenal even got this far in the Champions League. With that in mind, there will be plenty of positives to take once the dust has settled, even if it won't feel like that right now. The last, 16 victory over Porto showed the team's grit and fighting spirit, while they battled back well to earn a draw in the first leg. Ultimately, though, they may feel their failure to take full advantage at 1-0 up in the first leg proved their undoing. With Arsenal in the tougher half of the draw, there was never any guarantee a spot in the semis would see them cruise through to the final. There's always next year. Thanks for watch this video if you like this don't forget like and subscribe this channel. Goodbye.